Well, for the last segment of our show today, we have a really interesting tech corner for you, and, and we always really enjoy it when we, uh, when we have a guest actually come into the studio and, uh, and do a tech corner with us. So joining us now, uh, during, during, during Dirk Now, is Jeff Peterson, the International Sales Manager for the ZCAT Portable Direct Computer Control Coordinate Measuring Machine. So take it away, guys. That's right. Thanks, Mike. Yep. And yeah, we do have Jeff Peterson here from Thanks, ZCAT. Dirk. And a very interesting looking something that you call a CMM, but this doesn't look like any CMM I have ever seen in my entire life. So tell us what the ZCAT is. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It really doesn't. Uh, we get all kinds of descriptive uh, things from people when they see it. But it is the world's first truly portable direct computer controlled cord and measure machine. So by portable, it weighs 30 pounds or 13 kilos depending on which, uh, I think we can just unplug it, so we're not even Oh, runs on in. battery? It's okay. on battery power, so okay. it'll run about five hours on a battery. Right now we do have a cord going to the PC, but we could be wirelessly connected to a PC too, okay. either through Bluetooth or through Wi-Fi. But today we, we are connected with an Ethernet cable, but the ZCAT has four axes of measuring. There's a rotary encoder in the base, so it rotates 360 degrees. There's a linear scale in the Z axis and a linear scale in the cross axis. But there's also a linear scale or a rotary encoder in the in the probe, so the probe can actually rotate 360. Oh, and you degrees. can and you can see the rotation of the probe. Interesting. Yes. Okay. It all is translated under our XYZ as as linear, but we are doing angles too. But that's part of the technology that kind of grew from the founder of this okay. gauge. Now, so. Um, Show us how you would, I don't know, uh, you, you mentioned uh, to me off, off camera that this is very easy to, to program and, and then run, so show us a, a simple uh, program. Yeah, we can virtually teach anybody to be a CMM programmer in a, in a few minutes. So okay. uh, we do what we call teach and repeat. So this is the handle of the ZCAT. I can move it around uh, by hand here. We have it hooked to the, to the software. I can tell it ahead of time I want to measure a plane. In this case, I'll, I'll come down here and physically touch off at least four points and it will measure a plane. And I might make that a reference because we always want to reference a few features and confirm that. And maybe I'll measure a line. And again, I tell it ahead of time, so I'm teaching it. Take as many points as I want. I'll make that line a reference. I'll confirm it. And you can see it's drawing it right on the computer screen as I'm doing this. Now I'm going to okay. measure a diameter and I'll physically come down here and touch at least four points. I could touch as many as I want, but to make it easy, we'll just do four. I'm gonna make that my reference too. So I've got a plane, I've got a line, I've got a circle. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and measure a couple other quick features here. Again, this is the manual, this is the teach part. Finish that one and we'll do one more. And then we'll let the ZCAT take over. So you can see how easy it is. The operator just has to be able to yeah. tell it what I want to measure, then do it, and we can go into our software now and tell it to play. And the computer and the ZCAT will take over. Now it's going to duplicate every point that I took, only now it's going to vector perfectly to the part at the same speed every time. And yeah, this if, we, is if we can come back to the gauge cam on this so you can see this is running, uh, running automatically here. Okay, so yes. now, now the, the computer is controlling this now. Yes, now the computer is controlling it. I'm not touching it. Uh, we have a program to, to measure at a certain speed every time, and that's something I couldn't do by hand. Um, that, that's where a lot of the repeatability and accuracy comes in, because any manual gauge, any handheld gauge, the operator is going to have a big effect on the, on the measurement. We've taken the operator out of it. The operator is writing the program for it. We can take measurements manually, and, and it's always interesting to compare those measurements when manually and then under DCC, how much more repeatable and accurate we come in when the DCC takes right, effect. Interesting. So once it's once it's done, uh, I'm assuming the the results uh, will, will show up here on the uh, yeah uh, on, on the screen. If you look at the screen, you'll see I've got a couple of circles. I can double click on one of the diameters and drop it. It'll tell me what that diameter is. Maybe this diameter, maybe this diameter. Maybe you want to know the distance between this diameter and this diameter. Maybe the distance from the center of that diameter to that line. <laughs> wow. So that quick, and Very it's also quick, yeah. highlighted in green if it's intolerance. If it was out of tolerance, it would be red. So hopefully they're all green. Right. Now, I'm, I'm assuming that uh, uh, this could be set up as, a, let's say, a, a, an inspection tool. And it would tell you whether a part passed or failed. You, you can probably go in and change the, the, the tolerances? Yeah, absolutely. Not only can you do that. So if I, if I were to right click, you can see it, it already it predicts what the nominal would be based on the number. 
um, the, the actual measurement. It'll g be green if they think it's intolerant. So if it's out, we can edit those. We can edit the nominal, we can edit the tolerance, and it will turn red if it's, so not only the report will be green or red, but the, the graphics will be green or red too. So when it's all finished, uh, you, can, you can have a, a visual like this, or you can have a full printout in Excel format. Now tell me, so we, we mentioned right at the top, very interesting form factor. So what was the, what was the market that this was intended to reach, given that it's, it's got this, honestly, just a very peculiar form factor. I mean, the, the, the way it's set up, you know, rotational stage and just an arm that slides back and forth, very interesting. Well, there are portable CMMs out there, but they're all manual. This is the DCC, right. so we wanted to make right, one right. that we could, we could put out there, but parts are getting smaller, so this, being a, not a, a typical B89 bridge type machine, we've got a radius Z machine that we can wrote, we can actually put parts all the way around here. We could have identical parts around it and do all of them at the We're same time. You parts could batch in. half a dozen, or I've batched up to 16 parts in one, okay. in, under one program. Or you could have multiple different parts. The operator would just have to pull up the right program and tell it where to go. You could have four different completely different parts, uh, different quadrants in here and, and measure those. Just would, tell would, program. It, it seems to me like for, for a small machine shop, this might take the place of, what, height gauges and calipers and micrometers, rather than using all these hand tools, this might just take the place of, of those for a, uh, for a small shop? Absolutely, you know, if uh, we'll place these right next to a machine tool uh, on a surface plate or on a good sturdy bench, and uh, the, the same operator who's making the part who used to measure with calipers, micrometers, height gauges, transfer stands, you name it. Now they can put the part, if it's in a fixture, it's really nice, they hit the fixture, bring up the right part, hit play. The Z-Cat does all the measurement for him while he goes off and does the rest of his job. Huh. Now I noticed, uh, looks like you got a Renishaw probe on there? Yeah, that's a standard Renishaw TP20 touch probe. Okay. But what's not standard is that it rotates 360 degrees. So normally this will have maybe a star configuration right, right. on here, but we can accommodate every angle for that horizontal probe, so we really only need two. Now we could have it set up with only a horizontal or only a vertical or a vertical and a horizontal, but there's no need for a star configuration. But it is a standard off-the-shelf Renishaw TP20 touch probe. Okay, what kind of accuracy and repeatability are you guys getting out of this? I mean, we should say this is a shop floor tool as well. It's right? meant for the shop floor. A lot of people do use it in their gauge lab. It depends on the company. Everybody's a little bit different. Um, we get accuracies at about seven to nine microns, depending on the part size. Uh, we get repeatability at two to three microns. So that's better than two tenths on the accuracy and better than one tenth on the repeatability okay. if you're dealing with, with inches. Now I gotta say, <laughs> we, we can't leave without talking about the inventor. There's a, there's a name, not everybody knows the name, Homer Eaton, maybe that, means, that name means something to some people, but I guarantee you, you know at least one of his inventions, which is what? Yes, the Romer arm. The, the Romer, Romer arm, arm. Port, portable arm. Yeah. Homer invented the articulating arm machine, the Romer arm, and that was his company for many years, uh, and he was very proud of that. I mean, he, he's, he, and he's very well known in the industry. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he always wanted to make a, a motorized m version of it, to take that, bring that accuracy down and that repeatability down to the, the numbers. So he always wanted to do that, but the technology wasn't there, but now it's there. Uh, he developed this, uh, we've gone together, we've uh, formed a company to, to manufacture these, they're made right here in the United States, oh, okay. in Massachusetts. Wow, um, and price? The base unit on the ZCAT is under $40,000 here in the United States. Um, that's the price we've, we've, we've have it set at. Um, that's the base unit without the software. You add the software for a little bit under 5,000. Okay. Uh, there's accessories, there's a lot of fixturing that you can add, but the typical machine is, is usually under $50,000 set up, installed, trained. And it comes with its own software, but is it compatible with other uh, third-party softwares? Yes, you know, that's another one of the criteria he had. He, he put an I++ interface in it, so it would, that's kind of the, the standard right. CMM um, software interface. So. It is capable of being connected to a lot of different softwares, and we're currently working with multiple software companies. Uh, this is the basic package that we offer with it, but we're gonna be having uh, quite a few options available to customers in the future, uh, in the very near future. So some of those name brand uh, CMM softwares will be available on the ZCAT in the very, very, not so far past. Future. <laughs> future. All right, yeah, future. terrific. Well, Jeff Peterson uh, from ZCAT. Thanks. If you want more information on the ZCAT, there is a link underneath the player page. If you click that, that takes you out to the ZCAT website, uh, which has uh, 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 all the uh, uh, specifications and particulars on the ZCAT. So click that link, go out there and take a look at it. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Okay, Mike, back to you.